Hey, my name is Barbara. I am the owner of Barbara Journals on Etsy. Also, you can go to barbarajournals.com and check out my website. So I posted in um, a Facebook group how I create printables using Canva. And I didn't want to just post the printables and not show how I did it. So I'm going to try to do a quick tutorial of one of the printables just to give you an idea of what Canva can do. So I am a part of, uh, or I am one of Canva's um, creatives. I'm a certified Canva creative. So that means that when new features and updates come out, um, I'm one of the first people to know about it. So I am going to start posting a lot more about Canva and the updates that they have coming out because I absolutely love Canva. And I think it's one of the best tools that um, a creative or a business owner can have. Also, um, I love to create inserts for planners and journals and things like that so um, it's the best of both worlds I so I do have the paid version of Canva so it's going to be slightly different than the free version but the free version still have a lot of neat stuff that you can do so I'm gonna go to one of the um, printables that I showed or that I posted about the other day so this is my gratitude printable and it is an um, size a5 so it's five point eight by 8.3 inches so I'm going to um, go ahead and recreate this journal or recreate this on um, page and also the personal reflections page so I'm just going to create new page down here so that gives me a blank page and the first thing I'm going to do is um, just type everything out mm -hmm. so right here you'll see that I have gratitude journal and then I have like a um, like a swish mark or um, paint paint straight right here and actually I put um, I purchased this off of Etsy so Etsy is one of the stores that I go to when I want to add clip art or watercolor or anything additional to kind of make my printables pop I suggest Etsy um, creative market I bought stuff from I think creative fabrica I bought some things from and I'll post all the links under the um, under this video so that way if you want to check it out you can so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and type the text up so go here to text and I'm just going to select one just to um, get some text started move it up to the top and as you can see, Canva have purple lines that help you put everything in the middle. So if I wanted this right in the middle of the page, it will form a purple cross to show me that I'm in the middle. So I'm going to move it up to here. And also, if you see the um, purple um, box that's right here, that's to let you know um, as far as with your borders to show you that, like, for example, when you create pages, that box would basically be a guide to let you know that as long as you print within that box, you'll be able to um, print the page out. And if you need to hole punch it or use it as an insert, if you're creating an actual notebook, um, it'll pretty much be in the safe zone, so to speak. So I'm going to put it a little above. Then I'm going to go to, let's see, my uploads. So this is the uploads. So this is where I've uploaded all types of stuff, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so I'm going to scroll down and find the um, design that I have. As you can see, I have a lot of um, designs that I've saved that I need to actually get up and listed in my store. So here's the, um, the swipe right here. So I'm going to put it right here. And... Um, as I put it right there, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that it covers the words a little bit. And then I am going to position it to go back so that way that my words can come forward. So you can see that right here. So the word, let me see, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go, I'm going to drag it out. All right, so that's Gratitude Journal. And then let me see, I think. Okay, so I use the font I story, our story, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's a font that I actually purchased. I don't think that's a part of um, shop. I'm um, a part of Canvas fonts. In case you want to know where I got the font from, and I either purchased that from Create, not Creative Market. I think I purchased that from Creative Fabrica. 
if I'm not mistaken. So I got that. Then I'm going to go to the size and make it bigger. Now, as you can see, when I made it a little bit bigger, it made the box around it look like this. So now, instead of me going over here to increase the front size, I can just go like this and it would automatically increase it. So we'll make it about this big. And it's right in the middle. Now, if you notice the dotted purple lines or the dashes, that's to show you that it's also not only the solid line shows you that it's in the middle of the page, but the dashes show you that it's in the middle of that design. So now I know that it's perfectly aligned not only with the page, but also with the um, design. Now, if I wanted to group it together, so that way when I move it, I can move the whole thing. All you have to do is right, left click on it and highlight it and then hit group and now I move the entire design so um, I wanted to go back to where it was located so I'm gonna go over here and hit undo and now it's back where it started so that's the top part so now I'm going to go, um, go ahead and recreate this part right here so the first thing I'm going to do is the line so I think the first line I have is the date so I'm going to go over to here and hit elements now like I said I have elements I have um Canva Pro or the paid version so some of these things you may or may not have but Canva still has a lot of free features so I'm just going to type in line and as you can see Canva pulls up a lot of different lines for me the one that I typically use is um this one right here and then I make it black so that I'm able to see it so you can use the line like this if you want. If it's too thick, all you got to do is go over to the corner and make it smaller or thinner, I should say. So I'm going to make it like about maybe this thin. And I'll put it right about there. And then if you hover over the sides, you'll see that it forms um, a double arrow. And that allows me to pull it over. So let me go back. All right. So it's about halfway a little bit. So I have it right here. I'm going to see if I can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. In case you can't see it. Excuse me. So now I'm going to go to text and I'm going to, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to just type date. Move this right about here. So as you can see, it lines up evenly. And then I'm going to go ahead and group it. I like grouping stuff. Wait a minute. Let me move this over. Um, the reason I'm moving this over is because, as you can see, if I group it, it's going to group not only the date and the line, but it's going to also group the box gratitude journal. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this, and I'm going to actually crop this so that I can make this smaller. So let's see. If I go here and see how it has filter, adjust, crop, I'm going to hit crop, and I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller. Then I'm going to hit done. And now as you can see, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, no. You know what? Hold on. Ungroup. Okay. So when I actually cropped it, I made this smaller. Remember, I this took up all of this. But now this is actually just a straight line. So I'm going to put this in the middle of it. Group. There we go. Now it's smaller. Bang, right in the middle. So now I'm going to just group this so that way I can move the whole thing as opposed to, you know, having to move the date and then moving the line. So then next I'm going to go ahead and add some more lines. Make it thinner. Drag it out. So I'm pretty much um, estimating how long to make it. But what I'll do is if you move it, you'll see like the purple box to show up to show you that it's within printing range. So now I know I have to kind of drag this in a little bit, a little bit more. That should be perfect. There we go. All right. So I have my date. So I'm going to push this down here a little bit to give it some space. All right. Three things I am grateful for. So I'm going to go to text, and I'm just going to use this text just for purposes of this video. Things I am grateful for. 
So it's in the middle. So I'm going to go over here to the alignment and I'm going to hit it so that it goes to the left. Make this box a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put this right there. Let me see. I think I want it up a little bit so that you can see the bottom of the jig. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just hit the line because I want all the lines to look like that. I'm just going to hit it or click on it and then hit copy. And I'll copy three of them. Usually when I like to do the lines so that I'm not constantly trying to format them, I'll do it like this. So I have the line for, I think, that three things I'm grateful for. And you know what? I'm going to make this slightly different. I'm going to make the line as small as the text. Excuse me. <coughs> so now I'm going to move this line up here. And I will be honest with you, what I try to do is just gauge how much space to put in between. A lot of it, especially when you're first starting out with the lines, is trial and error until you find a system that works for you in regards to being able to eye how much to how much space to put in between for writing. And I know at one point I did write down like how many pixels to have it apart from each other. So that way you'll know um, which one is considered wide rule and which one is considered college rule. So if I remember and if um, if I don't put it on the video, just let me know and I'll, you know, make write a comment and I'll add it. But I do have the pixel spacing that you'll need in between here in order for it to either be college rule space or wide rule space. But for purposes of this video, I'm just going to make it a nice size space and then right here there we go. this one isn't the same size see now so I'm gonna delete that one I think this one is the same size yeah what no let me see okay so that one then I'm gonna just copy this one more time So it's in the middle, in the middle. So now what I'm going to do is highlight these three and I'm going to make it a group. So now again, this is all together. And so I'm not having to constantly create lines and, you know, further down. What I'm going to do is I am going, all I have to do now is just hit copy. That creates automatic three. And then I'm just going to go right there like that. So now I have three things I'm grateful for and I have space for that. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's five lines. So just to stay in sync, I'm going to make it five. So all I have to do is click on this, hit ungroup. One, two, three, four, five. Delete this one. Now to make this whole five a group, so all I have to do is just copy um, a couple more groups. Click on this, ungroup, highlight, group. Now I have this. So bang, there we go. Now, to make it even easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this and I'm going to ungroup. Did I make this a group? No, I didn't make that a group with the line. So this wasn't attached to this line. So now I'm going to highlight all of this, group that. So now all of this is a group, right? So all I have to do is hit copy, bring it down. And then all I have to do is just change the wording. So now the next one, one challenge I face today. I may have to ungroup it to make the line longer, so we'll see what happens. Challenge I face today. Let's see. Uh, I'll ungroup it just so that you can see how I did it. So that's that. Then I'm going to click on the line, make it a little bit smaller. All right. And then I'm going to regroup everything. So that's that one. And then the last one, what I, what I am learning from it. And one great thing that happened today. Okay. So because I make this space bigger than these lines, I'm not going to be able to fit all of it. But I just wanted to give you, I think I could probably fit one more. Let's see. I may have to make it smaller. I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller. Which is cool because that gives me a chance to show you another feature. So another feature to make it smaller, all you got to do is drag it in and it makes the whole text um, smaller. So I'm just going to make everything a little bit smaller. Let me see. This was, let me see if I make this 170. Okay. 